Okay. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, good morning. I'm Ray from Advanced Tech in Taiwan, and uh, I'm the BDM, Business Development Manager of uh, Video AI Product Product Line, and uh, I belongs to SG IoT in Advanced Tech. And today is very happy to share you our uh, AI project experience, and of course we will do some advertising to promote our uh, MIC Jason Edge AI systems. So today's uh, slide will related to some project sharing and uh, product introduction. Okay. Oops. Okay, so when we are talking about AI robots, I mean, when we, are want, we want to make AI project or want to change an AI model, we always aim high. I, we want to make a fancy model, a high accuracy model, or make a very good looking AI machines. But the, uh, get back to the ground and uh, you see, we always make something very similar to our uh, projections, but not so good as this look. So uh, you can see these two robots, uh, this has very similar form factor, like two eyes, and uh, of course this can this uh, eyes can fly, and what it just can uh, scroll on the ground. But in fact, we advantage do something very similar to Wadi. Could you see this picture? There is a robot inside, and this robot has two eyes from the camera, and uh, we put our advanced tech uh, AI systems in the in the blue box, and uh, it has three wheels to move around to detect people's temperature and uh, if these people wear masks or not. This is very uh, efficient and. Uh, uh, high accuracy solution for airport and uh, train station in China. This uh, robot is made with uh, made by Advantage our partners. We offer the hardware, the computing platform, and our partner make the outlooking and its uh, AI software inside. So we of the Bentech can provide uh, full portfolio about HAI systems and uh, you, our partners, our customers can embed your software inside our platform to make AI landing in your job, job site. Okay, that's uh, uh, talking about something practical. In the smart city, we always talking about, we want to make, uh, moment. this is video. Uh, Okay, in the smart city, the traffic monitoring is uh, always the topic, topic of, about AI projects. Governments want to have uh, full metadata from the roadside, from the intersections to manage the traffic. But it's difficult to just uh, use uh, traditional rule-based uh, uh, video analysis to get the better data from the raw from the intersection. But for, uh, thanks to AI, you can see, we can recognize different vehicle type like bike, motorcycle, and uh, car, truck, box. And uh, you can have the object detection in different lens. So you can have a, a overview about how is the lens uh, efficient in the city. On the right video, you can see it's an uh, intersection. We monitor the turn, uh, uh, the intersections, uh, different direction, sorry, different direction uh, vehicle counting. So when a vehicle is coming from this side, we can detect uh, it's come turn the right turn or go straight or left turn and the count the different form. Uh, vehicle types as a table you can list here. This is a very efficient uh, AI solution for our government and uh, we know that there are many many countries uh, go for this kind of AI project in their city, in their roadside, uh, in the 
in their intersections. But people will always talking about, okay, but uh, we can see the great uh, data from the daylight, but how about the night and the, how about the rain days? So here I show you our uh, solution about the AI models uh, working at night. Uh, you can see there are many thermal, uh, thermal noise, but it's okay for our uh, AI detection. And you can see the cars and the bus are checked very well. On the right video, you can see it's a rainy day, and so there are many reflections on the ground and on the road. But the AI model can detect, can recognize the vehicle types very well as well, and it can do both sides. From the uh, vehicle front side and the back side, we can uh, detect the vehicle very well. Here is a static parking lot, and uh, we have a customer that they are doing uh, open parking lot management. They don't have to use uh, something physical on the ground, they just use uh, one camera to manage all 33 space. So when a vehicle is uh, driving away from the, his, uh, his uh, space, another vehicle is parking into another one, you can see the different discount, this di different counting here. So you can share to your in parking information uh, in the, in the, uh, in your digital signage to let the customer drive to the correct parking space. Okay, it's cut, it's the one and the minus one. Not only for vehicle detection or people detection, we have a customer that do in medical imaging with AI solution as well. And here you can see it's a real time AI polyper detection. So when, a a doctor is using his uh, ankle stop into your body to detect uh, where is a uh, polyp. Sometimes he get tired or not so sensitive about a uh, polyp. But if you use AI to uh, an assistance to help the customer to help the doctor to recognize the polyp, it's very easy for a cast, uh, for a doctor to right. recognize if we want to do some surgery on it. Okay, so uh, it's a real time, of course. When the doctor see this part, he want to do surgery on it, he can do it directly. You don't have to uh, wait next time to do some other diagnosis. You can do it right away. In fact, we are not talking about AI AOI, but we will talk about it later. But here, I want to share you our customer is doing something uh, in the production line. It's the line balance uh, optimization. But this video is very long, so I want to keep it this little bit. Uh, OK. OK, this uh, production line, there are many uh, uh, workers uh, to do tasks. And the, when the first one finishes an item, he will deliver to the black bus, and the other one will take the item to do his task or her task as well. And the one by one, one by one. So you can accumulate the one item from these five sites to the to be a, a complete product. How many tasks and how many time? Uh, how much time is is cost? And uh, during the the production uh, period which tasks are consume the most time. So you can make perfect line balanced if you have enough uh, data to analyze. Of course, there are some uh, tasks may cost a lot of time and, uh, and uh, may, may, uh, other workers just uh, waiting for the task. You can share a task to others. So that's why the customer is uh, well into use this uh, line balance optimization detection to make their line balance better. 
Okay, let's uh, some our AI projects for uh, just for your reference and share you our experience to make AI lending in smart city, in medical imaging, and in factories. Here, I will like to introduce our AGI systems. Okay, in the past, uh, when you want to uh, train a video, uh, train an AI model and uh, deliver deliver model, deploy model into a uh, AI inference system, you are always thinking about to employ a GPU card or employ multiple, multiple GPU cards like GTS, RTS, okay, and or Quadro if you want to have a lot of memory, and the Tesla if you want to have very powerful CUDA cores to do the AI inference. We at Ventec will provide the servers and the IPCs for the customer to install this graphic, uh, graphic card, GPU cards into the platform and uh, do the AI inference projects, of course. But NVIDIA see the uh, difference, uh, from a different point of view to see this uh, opportunity. And uh, when we are, uh, want to deploy AI machines at the edge, we will encounter many issues like uh, dimension, I mean the form factor. If you are a equipment equipment vendor, you know that uh, an equipment space is uh, limited. But a system x86 system with a GPU card is uh, very huge. And uh, if you want to embed this kind of uh, systems into your equipment, you will make you have you have to change your uh, equipment or make it larger to fit, fit in the GPU systems. However, uh, let me do I want to make it small. Okay, okay, let's go to the second point. The second point is the power consumption. Uh, when you install a GPU car inside a ATS system, the GPU car was cons consumed uh, like uh, 250 watts. Uh, for uh, eight, uh, 1080 Ti or 2080 Ti, they consume a lot of uh, power. So if you want to make it landing uh, at your job site, you have to uh, use higher power supply. Or, and of course, power supply is just is a cost for the government, for the customers, for the uh, uh, production line. So, Nvidia want to make the AI inference low power consumption. The third point is the thermal. There are many uh, harsh environments like can deploy uh, x86 with GPU class systems because uh, with a GPU car you can make it fanless. You cannot make it fanless. That means there is no white temperature uh, solution for the harsh environment. But if you leverage NVIDIA's uh, JSON platform, you can have its uh, fairness with white temperature solution to deploy this kind of system at your job site. Even if it's uh, in a roadside system from 10, uh, minus 40 degree to plus 60 degree Celsius uh, environment, you can leverage uh, Amidia JSON platform to make it. So Amidia see the uh, see the uh, advantage of uh, edge side. So they want to make a system and module uh, series JSON for the AI systems and the deep for uh, deep learning, of course. So we are the one take uh, get to the point, and uh, we want to make. Uh, MIC JSON, uh, I mean JSON AI systems as our uh, core technology. So we we uh, we make made several uh, product portfolio for our customer to choose to deploy the AI inference system at their job site. Just uh, I show you the video to you, and this uh, videos are made by our customers, then they leverage our uh, JSON platforms to do it. Okay, 
this is a, a, a concept about how to make an AI inference system. Uh, when we are talking about a system, you want to have a CPU memory, CPU memory, and uh, and the GPU cards to make it together and put on a motherboard to uh, install the drivers and the applications and make a chance for it to do the AI project. On the other side, you can choose JSON platform. JSON platform, uh, the song has in, uh, is has integrated all the uh, CPU computing, memory, storage, and the GPU into a single module. And the, we at Ventec can make the capable to pull out the connections like uh, HDMI, USB, mini PCIe, PCIe, slot for the uh, in more integration for our customer to for industrial usage. And we also make a, a choice for it, of course. So this is two different kind of uh, AI, HAI systems. But today we will focus on JSON platforms. Of course, if you, you have other uh, source to deploy high performance AI uh, inference systems, you might leverage high, high performance GPU uh, cards, no problem for sure. Some customer will will ask about uh, JSON because NVIDIA, they are a consumer product company. They didn't do very, very much, uh, they, uh, they didn't do many uh, industrial components or solutions for to be usage. But they see the growth rate from the market. And uh, you see there are many, uh, JSON module customers, there are many JSON uh, dev case sales and uh, the growth rate of uh, JSON developers are, uh, is growing very, very fast. This, uh, this three chart photos and our uh, figures show that JSON platform is a very uh, promising product, uh, platform for AI inference for HAI systems because there are so many, so many customers and the developers working on it. There will be a lot of AI project in the future. So no matter you are a developer or you are a channel partner or DST, JSON platform is, uh, 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 I think it's a very great, has a very great chance for the AI uh, in the future. And, uh, on the other side, when we are talking about for industrial usage, we will consider about the longevity. So media knows that they cannot just like sell uh, selling GPU cards. We when they say sell GPU cards, they uh, you know, introduce this GPU card, they maybe just uh, face it out six months later. But for that's for consumer market, but for industrial usage, you can do that. NVIDIA knows that. So that extend their life cycle uh, for uh, TS smart, TS2 modules. Not only for TS modules, they also uh, introduce the TS2 industrial modules for even longer longevity for uh, customer to design projects. That means uh, JSON platform is the correct product for NVIDIA. Otherwise, they don't have to extend the, the longevity. And uh, they see the market that there are so many customers, talk, so many developers just engage into these uh, JSON platforms. So they are willing to extend the production line, the life cycle to help the customers, to help the uh, uh, developers to do uh, AI projects for longer period. So. We have based on these two great signs from a media. I think we can, I think we uh, or you can uh, take a JSON platform uh, to be your AI inference system very serious. So here is our products based on different JSON pro, uh, modules. JSON modules has four form factor, I mean, no, not form, four form factor, three form factor, but four uh, different modules from nano, 
Nano is a very light uh, AI inference uh, modules for for you and uh, in the market the, the JSON TS2 would be the brother of uh, other, other modules. The high performance Xavier is uh, many customers consider about to deploy into their uh, AI projects. The latest uh, module is uh, JSON Xavier NX. Because the NS has uh, the same form factor as uh, Nano, but it has a uh, higher PAI computing compared to TS2. And the computing is uh, between TS2 and the Xavier. That means we can deploy NS into Nano's systems, and uh, this center will enhance their computing outperform TS2 modules. So we have a full portfolio for our customer to choose our system as layer uh, project systems. And we would like to let the customer evaluate layer AI model, layer upgrades on our systems. So if you have projects, if you want to evaluate our systems, you can come to our sales to then a sample to do your evaluation. Moreover, uh, on, uh, for Nano and uh, for Xavier NS, we have uh, two form factors. Uh, one is for AI and VR, it's for security, for surveillance usage. So there are, uh, there are many CMS, uh, CMS ISV or a VR vendor want to, lab, uh, want to use this system to, lab, uh, to, I mean, to enhance their traditional uh, NVR into it. AI era. MIC 710AI, 710AIs is an uh, industrial box PC form factor. Uh, so their brothers like MIC 720AI and the 730AI, they just install different uh, some in, inside. So this kind of uh, uh, industrial PC, you can check if the, the performance of different module is su sufficient for or to fulfill your computing. So you can select from Nano to TS2 to Xavier and uh, to deploy them into your industrial job site or in a smart city. We also have an AI form factor uh, based on Xavier, based on Xavier. So if the customer is not, uh, uh, is not field yeah, enough field from, from Nano, from Nano compute, compute, you can leverage you can the, leverage the Sorry, why is there is an echo from the system? Okay. Okay. So you can leverage higher performance Xavier to do the same scenario. For example, if you have uh, uh, to want to use uh, AI just uh, to monitor four channels, you can leverage Xavier to monitor eight channels or even more. Channels. The, the best of uh, JSON platform is that when you develop a software, you can use all of them. Just uh, make sure your AI inference and your AI model can use uh, the, and the, the, the computing support your AI model and the UI, AI algorithm. Here I would like to show you the uh, target market of our uh, systems, just as I said, and they are, uh, you can separate the, the, our portfolio into two categories. One is for industrial PC, the other one is for AI and VR. And uh, for uh, industrial PC, uh, for 730 AI, 720 AI, and uh, 710 AI, we would like to uh, get into the industrial usage like AI AI or healthcare for image, uh, Im uh, medical imaging to diagnose something in, in your body. Or oh, we have many projects for our government or from the uh, customer, they are, they are doing traffic monitor, not, uh, not only the roadside uh, systems, but also in factory or in some uh, big manufacturing, they, are, they have to also do the traffic monitor in their uh, manufacturing uh, garden. 
and uh, we also have uh, customers to do robust guidance because uh, they can put the camera on the uh, robot arm and uh, analyze uh, the items they want to pick and place. So you can leverage the AI bus to do the robot arm guidance. For textile and the agriculture, uh, there are more, uh, there are some customers from uh, these uh, markets, and uh, they are doing something like AOI, but the inspection target is uh, textile or fruit, different fruits, something like that. We, uh, when we are talking about AI and VR, of course, AI VR has the capability to record a video and uh, analyze the raw data uh, from the cameras. So you have to decode the uh, IP streams from cameras and uh, analyze the raw data and then record it again to indicate where is the uh, uh, results of AI. So our customer like they are from casino, logistics, and the smart cities, they will do the recording. Not to say that uh, when customer leverage uh, AGI systems uh, based on IPC firmware, they don't do recording. But for AI, AI and VR, most of them are doing recording, doing uh, record the metadata from AI into the uh, original uh, video data. Our customer from casino, they want to not only to recognize uh, the customer's face, they want to do some trips uh, recognize. You know, like trips may be cost 1,000 US dollars or even 2,000 US dollars for per chips. But sometimes the, the, uh, some customer will bring back trip to, to play with the, uh, in, in the casino. So they want to avoid the this kind of uh, scenario. So they will recognize uh, if the chip is from the uh, casino directly, not a fake one. Uh, there are several customers, they are doing logistics and uh, use uh, uh, AI and VR to monitor the uploading wrong if there are some someone not wearing correct uh, dressing or if there are something that uh, drop into the uh, uploading zones. And when, uh, the, when the truck want to drive away from the uploading zone, they have to monitor if there are some people around the area to, to alert the, the driver aware there are some people around his truck to make the, the, the uploading zone is safe. Okay, for smart city, there are so many scenarios like you can imagine about, uh, like a kiosk or geo signage or retail in retail, the, uh, there are business insider algorithms like you can have the uh, heat map in the retail or you can have a great uh, advertising for, for elder people or for children or for women, for men. Different advertising videos for that. And you can uh, evaluate your uh, your cost uh, for different uh, aisles. Uh, you mean when people uh, when, when customer is uh, walking around different aisles, they will stop by to check something. And uh, the, if there are hard, hard rooms in the retail, you may, you can sell more uh, rent rent for for the vendors, something like that. So there are so many business inside that you can leverage AI and uh, can analyze the uh, customer behavior to make your product, uh, uh, your advancing better for the, for the retails. Okay, here is our JSON system roadmap. Just as I mentioned, uh, we have uh, two categories and uh, different form uh, different uh, systems based on the four, four different modules from Nano NS to TS2 to Xavier. We have a P2 form uh, two systems, MIC 720 AI and the MIC 710 IBA. We there are uh, 
uh, sample ready products like MIC 710AI, MIC 710AIs, and the, the highest computing MIC 730AI. Uh, in the third quarter, we will have MIC 730 IBA and uh, MIC 710 IBA X as well. And uh, we also have uh, uh, two different products that's, uh, just for ODM discussion. Uh, because these two, two uh, products is based on project discussion because they will just uh, make a, a easy uh, mar a carrier block. We pull out very limited uh, interface, like we on, it only has one LAN port, one or two USB port, and one HDMI port for the basic, uh, basic usage for our customer. So we have a two uh, tiny bus uh, for our customer to choose if they don't want to have uh, so many interfaces for many industrial uh, interfaces for lab. They just uh, want to leverage the computing uh, of uh, JSON, of uh, Nano, of uh, Xavier. They can leverage this kind of uh, uh, light uh, products from us. Okay, I will go, go through this very quick because there are uh, uh, many similar scenarios just, uh, I'll just mention about, uh, about the product. Uh, for MS 720 AI, we have, uh, uh, we, we focus on three different kind of uh, markets. One is uh, transportation, okay. Uh, we are doing travel monitoring and uh, law enforcement in Taiwan's law and uh, in US, uh, United States law uh, as well. There are so many customers, uh, they are doing machine vision, especially in the uh, AOI, automatic uptick inspection to do the defect inspection and uh, leverage our MIC 720 AI to do, it, to do the AI inference. Of course, some uh, security scenario, like uh, when you want to detect the people uh, on the street or in a train station, you can leverage a uh, box to pull in one camera's uh, IP streams to analyze the raw data directly and uh, send the alert or send the alarm to, to the backend systems to aware the operator there is something happen in the, in the scene. Here is uh, the system design and the spec. Uh, for MS720 AI, we have uh, HDMI, LAMPO, and uh, we have UC3.0. And so uh, 3.2 and uh, we have two of light because you can uh, insert uh, industrial camera based on USB 3.0 and uh, we can uh, deliver power to the camera. You don't have to uh, plug another power to support the camera, industrial camera. Same, the PoE, uh, power on internet can support uh, PoE IP camera in the smart city or smart retail directly. We also have a DIO uh, for customers to control something outside like a, a door or a bell, okay, for to uh, aware, uh, aware the operator or aware people in the scene. MS720 AI is based on TS2, so you can see it's uh, have 256 CUDA cores, but there are so many specs I don't want to uh, talk about them, but you can see the, the specs from here. So we want, want to make MIC720 AI like uh, eye and the brain in the city. You want to do the vehicle type uh, recognition, or we want to do the travel monitoring, parking lot management, and the law enforcement. MIC720 AI can deploy it and the uh, roadside or in the intersection, or even hand on the you know, you know uh, light uh, traffic light pole to do the not only to do to do the AI uh, to do the traffic monitoring but also control the light. Okay, control the uh, interval between green line to the red line depends on the uh, traffic uh, situation uh, right now. So I sh I have. 
I have shared you the video about the triple rotating and the parking lot and management. Okay. Here is the uh, the the video show that our performance. Oh, so, sorry about that. Oh. I have to make the video run it. Okay. Can you see a video? And I don't know if you can see a video uh, was very well or not because we are uh, uh, deliver video by Zoom. Maybe you it's not so smooth, but you can see that there are so many different kind of uh, vehicles like we could you can recognize. Based on our project, I mean we have a customer that leverage our AI SDK to make an AI inference. They have a project related to 22 different vehicle types in Taiwan. So they have a chain for 22 different vehicle AI models to recognize the vehicle types on the road. Uh, here is the MS720 AI. So you can see we, you can deliver the AI models on it and uh, recognize the video or recognize the IP stream directly and uh, can calculate the the traffic uh, numbers on the screen as well okay that to to the MIC 730 AI MIC 730 AI is very powerful it's very powerful because the not only the Xavier is powerful but also the memory is huge it can it supports 16 gigabyte memory so when your AI model is huge like let's say uh, maybe over four gigabytes or for even over six eight gigabytes you can dump your AI model into a memory on Xavier to do the AI inference directly for the TS2 for the nano they are they don't have so uh, so many space for you to dump your AI model really on the memory. So if your memory is complex, you have to leverage Xavier's uh, computing and its memory to do AI inference. So our customer from uh, for for Xavier is uh, they build a complex uh, complex AI models to do AI inference, and they want to do the AI. Uh, real time and uh, the video source might be very high uh, res resolution and uh, very high uh, fr friends per, per second. I, I mean, for Android. So you can see at least the three target markets uh, we have uh, machine vision, auto layer, auto, uh, automatic uptake home, especially as well. But the different uh, video source to will enhance the video. Uh, and we all enhance the detail of uh, uh, in, inspect uh, target, like a uh, LCD or like uh, uh, microconductors items, something like that. Not only for uh, items like fruit, they want to make uh, see very detail of the pro products. They have to leverage the Xavier because the image is. Uh, we are occupy a lot of uh, memory. We are uh, we are occupy a lot of resolution and uh, frame rate. For the transportation, of course, uh, we have uh, MIC seven twenty AI, just as I mentioned. But it can do uh, from our experience can do one or two channels at the same time. But if you leverage Xavier, you can do maybe over four channels at the same time to monitor the in the intersection just uh, you need one AI influence system you don't have labor to two or four uh, MS720 AI you just uh, have to deploy one uh, 730 AI that will sufficient for your uh, AI computing for to do the AI uh, traffic monitoring to do the law enforcement Another target cost uh, market is uh, medical imaging because uh, the video is always come from uh, ultrasound or endoscope or CT. Oh, they, are, they are always uh, very high resolution and, and uh, you have to do it uh, real time. So the frame rate, is, the latency is also uh, very important for medical imaging. This kind of customer, they will leverage uh, Xavier as well. So we made, a, you can see here, we made a white 
why one? Because uh, in a medical environment, the gut carrier want to see a white box. They don't want to see a black box in their uh, their uh, like operating room or like in a uh, diagnostic room. Oh, okay, so we make a, a white box for them. But as a standard product, we, we don't sell white box to our customer. It's a uh, if you are a customer from medical uh, market, we would like to. Uh, give you a sample with a uh, white chassis, but for general purpose, we would you have only uh, black one for your cho choice. Okay. Okay. He, here is a uh, MS seven thirty AI spec, and it's uh, also have a um, idol. I will introduce idol later. Okay, uh, Compor LAN, USB 3.0, HDMI, you can use DC in the ready. We have a uh, 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 break for DIDO, okay? So uh, we are talking about MS730 AI. We would like to introduce it uh, to this uh, market like quantity control, production classifications, uh, abnormal detections, and may maintenance petitions in factories. Moreover, we will, we will introduce MIC 730 AI uh, high version into medical imaging, like uh, you can do the endoscopy uh, imaging di AI diagnosis and uh, ultrasound imaging AI detection. Oh, some customers are doing drug manufacturing, they can leverage uh, this box to the AI drug AI AOI, and uh, in the lab or in some research center, they leverage they will to do the microscope imaging AI and analysis as well. This uh, MS10 AI is a very light edge AI system. Why I call it light because its computing is not sufficient for for general purpose. Uh, AI inference. So, if you want to leverage nano, the the one thing you have to consider about is the computing is is uh, you can you have to check if the computing is not enough or not for your AI inference. Not only for AI model, but also for the com uh, for uh, you know the uh, for the frame by per second. Let's say in this way, when you deliver image into uh, Xavier, it's ca you can get the uh, the result even in under 30 minutes per second. But for nano, you might have the result after uh, maybe two seconds uh, per, uh, after two seconds. So it depends on your AI uh, application. If you are your AI application is not so sensitive to latency. You can leverage nano, but if your uh, AI inference is very uh, latency sensitive, you have to leverage TS2 or Xavier to make the real-time AI inference. So for the uh, 710 AI, we, ha we have uh, customers from agriculture, fishery, and uh, animal husbandry because they want to count uh, to see if the fruit or the, the plant is uh, grows well or not. They want to count the fish numbers in the, uh, in the, you know, in the pool. They want to count the pH numbers and uh, to check if there is the illness uh, pigs. We also have customers to leverage our uh, this this box to do education uh, for university, for uh, AI schools. They want to have a platform, but they can, uh, of course, they can have a, a, a JSON dev kit from NVIDIA directly. However, if they want to deploy their uh, AI, AI inference model into uh, some kind of job site to do research, they also, they also have to leverage uh, an AI system with chases, with a, with a consolidated uh, design to do the uh, AI inference at the job site. 
So our customer leverage our AI bus to do the education and uh, let the customer, let students to learn something from the AI course and uh, do some real projects uh, for themselves. So this is a kind of a, a strategy setting in Taiwan. Maybe you can take it to consideration in Malaysia. Of course, this uh, box can do security if uh, the security is not so uh, latency sensitive. Uh, you can do it uh, uh, based on 710 AI, based on nano computing. Okay, so I would like to go to the design and the spec already. You can see this box uh, has uh, HDMI, USB, and the lampo as well. There is no PoE lampo on it, so you have to uh, have another power supply to your cameras. And uh, it also support the IDO, but there is an uh, advantage compared to MIC 720i. It supports IDO. It supports IDO. So I will introduce IDO uh, later. But for you because it's a uh, advantage of our AI systems compared to other competitors' products and uh, uh, the NVIDIA dev kit. Nano support only uh, 124 and uh, 28 CUDA cores, okay? So, and uh, it's uh, memory is only 4G. So when you put it up and uh, the OS will, will occupy maybe 1.5G one gigabit, you only left two and four and four, uh, two point five gigabit to do AI inference, and the, this uh, this now only for you to do the AI models, but you have to um, put AI uh, raw data into the memory. So it's very struggle if you want to use use nano to do the AI inference, but it always depends on your application, on your AI models, and on your algorithms. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, our design compared to, I mean, not really compared, uh, advantage of our uh, MIC 730AI with uh, iModule design. Uh, maybe some of you have uh, get familiar with our MIC series. Uh, our MIC series has uh, MIC 7, 7 and the MIC 7, 4, and 7400 series, they support I modules. Why we are doing I modules? Because we don't under, understand what kind of uh, interface that the customer want to grab the data, want to communicate with uh, backend systems. So we open the flexibility for our customer to install it on uh, PCI card. How to design uh, a, a system to open the flexibility to our customer? We use iModule. So when you leverage iModule, you can have, uh, for example, you want to install PCIe or you want to install maybe uh, HD or SSD. You can use different kinds of iModules to install on the original system. You can see the original system is over here. So when you install iModules, of course, you will extend the, uh, extend the chassis to, for you to install the add-on PCI card on it. The same scenario for MIC 730 AI, we can install uh, iModules and uh, you can uh, leverage this uh, design to install your own uh, it on cost. Uh, I can give you some example. Some customers really want to use camera link car, but camera link is a very high frequency throughput uh, cost, so you cannot install a camera link card uh, on, a, on a mini PCI. I mean, high frequency. Oh, there are different kind of. Uh, Camera link cards, but I mean high frequency camera link cards or 10 gig, 10 gig uh, cards, you have to install it through PCI. You can leverage the mini PCI or N2. You, you must install the uh, 10 gig cards and the high frequency camera link cards through the PCI. So, how could you install the cards into a PCI? You have to leverage iModules to do that. 
and uh, if for customer want to re recall uh, AI metadata or record a video, record the photos, you can in extend your uh, storage by the image as well. So not only the images you can store like a PCI, uh, Giga E cards or fiber cards, tanky you see here, and uh, capture cards like you want to grab the video from the DVI camera or HDMI camera or even SDI camera. You can uh, inst install camera cards into the image. Okay. IMAJO is for MIC 730 AI, but we still have another uh, opportunity to install additional card inside our systems, especially for MIC 710 AI and 730 AI. You can install the mini PCIe and the M.2 cards through IDO modules. IDO is a, a small open door you can see here, and it's opened for the breaky, for the integration with mini PCI cards inside. So both our LAN has mini PCI uh, slot on the carryable, so you can leverage it and uh, to pull out the interfaces through the, through the IDO. Okay, so I, this is something you might use for like a uh, two channel USB 3.0 because it support only one uh, 3.0 uh, USB 3.0 here. You can have a uh, CAN bus, you can have Giga e Ethernet through the iModel. iDoor. Of course, you want to grab uh, SDI, DVI, and HDMI, you can also leverage the mini PCI card on the carryable, and uh, we have a uh, bracket already for you to do the integration without any. Uh, any extra effort. We, we don't only support Live 6 mini PCI only. Uh, we support a lot of uh, IDO interfaces for you. Uh, most uh, ask uh, uh, is uh, wireless communication because there are so many uh, HSs that want to deploy at the road side or as, as somewhere there is no uh, degree uh, than internet can be accessed. So they want to make it wireless. They want to use uh, LTE or they want to use uh, wireless to communicate with the HAI systems to get the AI metadata from the system. Of course, when we are doing something in factories, industrial field box and uh, smart IOs are very, very important for our customers. So they can leverage uh, IDO as well. And uh, control in control bus and uh, frame grabbers and we we list all of them for your cho for your choice. If you want to have a different kind of uh, integration, like uh, some customer will ask for something we are not list on the on our product line, you can ask us uh, ask our sales. We will uh, we will help you to find some solutions and uh, help you to do the integration. Okay, that's all about our HAI uh, industrial PC series. I will go to the AI NVR right now, if you don't have any problem. Okay, AI NVR is something just I mentioned uh, uh, in the beginning of uh, in this uh, webinar. Uh, there are something like you put in the retail, you put in the Logistical or in the casting to monitor the scene, to monitor the people, to monitor the, the objects inside your field. So uh, for smart city, you can make it uh, for tra tra traffic monitoring, of course, for surveillance, for, uh, as I said, the retail business inside the algorithms. Okay, so you can leverage these uh, AI systems directly. Of course, you can do something like uh, to monitor your logistical and uh, warehouses, okay? So for kind of uh, uh, unloaded zone monitoring or to check your items in warehouses uh, all safe or not. In Casino, I just uh, talked about the scenario is a cheap identification to check if it's a fake one or real one. 
here is the form, uh, the form vector of these uh, two series, uh, is uh, two skills. One is uh, 30 IBA, the other one is 710 IBA. One is for Xavier, the other one is for Dano. Okay, so let's support uh, JSON platform and uh, support HPOE. So you can connect to HPOE IP cameras directly. You don't have to leverage a PoE switch. Just connect the IP camera directly to the AI MVR. Record the AI MVR and uh, analyze the, the raw data. Put the AI metadata or put the alert or some events into your uh, recorded AI uh, files with something like a timestamp, okay? And uh, you can also do the CMS based on this AI NVIDIA because uh, NVIDIA has a strong uh, SDK to support to support display uh, for eight channels or even for 18 channels. So here is the uh, SDK. Uh, it's called Deepstream SDK to do the decoding and uh, recording and uh, display. You can leverage uh, or, uh, NVIDIA's SDK array to do the uh, AI, AI MVR scenarios. Here is the uh, from Bezel, they are indicators. And uh, here are the back end, you can see uh, you have uh, a channel PoE LAN port, and uh, you also have a bit uh, for DIO. We also support uh, compost for RS222, uh, RS, uh, 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 something like that. Okay. You also have another LAN port because this LAN port is for IP cameras. But when you want to communicate with other systems, you want, you have to have a management level to uh, connect to your system, uh, like a switch system or band systems. Okay. Okay, this is 30 IBA is the same scenario, but we support two compounds for your usage. Here is a... Uh, NVIDIA, uh, the SDK can show the A channels uh, AI recognition in the same thing. So you can have A channels play display and uh, play back videos and the AI rec recognition results on the videos. Okay. Of course, this is based on 10 IBA, so the video is not so so smooth and uh, the result is not so convincing, but it's sufficient to support eight, deco eight video channel decoding, recording, display, and uh, some light model, some, some light AI model can recognize the people or vehicles in the scenes. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's all about advantage how your portfolio, how your offering. So when our customer uh, come to us, they are asking for something different compared to uh, other hardware vendor. They want to have some software insight. Something like, okay, if you have pre-trained model like a people recognition or face recognition or even uh, like a, AI AOI pre-trained models uh, to detect the defect. Yes, we have a solution for our customers, but all of them are based on project discussion. So if you have some projects, you want to do some uh, AI projects at your, uh, for your customer, or if you have tenders, you can come to us and we can discuss together, okay? We uh, just as uh, I uh, introduced, Used. We focus most of our uh, um, AI applications based on two different scenarios. One is from uh, Smart City, the other one is uh, from Smart Factory. Right now, we offer two uh, different software to our customers. For Smart City, we have uh, AI systems, uh, AI SDK, 
for smart city. Uh, we offer AI function bus here, flux here. You can see you can do the smart store or smart city or con some con content. And uh, for uh, medical imaging, of course, we can do some biometric uh, metric. Oh, no, it's not really uh, do the healthcare, uh, medical imaging. That means uh, you want to analyze human, like this. Uh, face or bodies or skeletons, you can leverage this uh, ASDK uh, biometrics analysis. For, uh, uh, for the behavior, like uh, when you fall down or you, you are running, uh, running in a trans, uh, train station or running in the, in the, you, you mean, uh, on the road, we can detect people and we can detect behavior. Okay, so you can leverage our human behavior analysis. You, you can get to the key point detection, like uh, you can have a, a skeleton uh, point to see your body uh, uh, activities. Okay, so we have a AI function plus for, uh, we have SDK and uh, here is a function plus for your reference. Um, most, the most important thing I have to emphasize is that this AI SDK is not only for or NVIDIA JSON. It can cross platform. You can leverage uh, Intel uh, GPU or CPU. So you can leverage Intel's uh, you know, their, their SDK as well. And uh, this AI SDK support NVIDIA SDK like TensorRT, okay? Or as you see, just a thin and deep, deep stream SDK. We also support uh, high silicon and uh, uh, high silicon chipset. And the most, uh, the base of our ASDK is TensorFlow and the cafe. So you have, uh, if you can uh, program your AI, uh, uh, your AI algorithm based on our SDK, you can leverage our AI SDK to put your AI algorithm on different platform without effort without effort. So, so if you, you don't have AI resource in your company, but you are very strong uh, system integrator, you have uh, uh, engineers to do the integration or to leverage your AI SDK, you can come to us. We can discuss about how to uh, integrate our AI SDK into your uh, legacy or existing uh, systems. Something like if you are a CMS uh, vendors or a VR vendors, you want to uh, make a bigger pro progress to AI era, you can come to us. We can lever you can leverage our computing, our AI computing to help you make your NVR has AI capability to analyze people, analyze vehicle, analyze events. Another one is uh, in SmartFetch, we offer AI Navy. AI Navy is a, a framework for AI AOI. So you can, uh, if you are a manufacturer in different uh, markets, like you are a textile or you may make toys, you make plastics or metals, no problem. You can come to us. You can come to us. We will have a framework for you if you collect enough of uh, photos, of our, enough of images. We, we can help you to train AI models and help you to integrate AI model into your systems to help you to uh, make the quality control or, in, to, or to do the uh, defect uh, inspection. Okay, here is our AI SDK. So for smart city AI applications, you can count, sorry for that, there are, uh, these are in Chinese, but I will translate into English later, okay? You can count the objects, you can have uh, comparison or object detection, segmentation, human uh, key points, or you can detect the expression, or skeleton, where are you in the in the space, or your behavior, the uh, face face range, of course, 
and uh, your age and the tenure. We have a lot of functions. If your projects need this uh, pre-trained AI model, you can come to us. Here is uh, our AI Navy for AI AOI applications. And you can see here are uh, our framework. You can have a uh, configuration here. You, so when you have a uh, fold, folders like, okay, this is NG folder. This is a uh, okay folder. folder. You can upload your uh, images, your photos to our systems, to our systems. And uh, leverage our AI channel to help you to come out an AI model for you. Uh, this AI model can help you to do something to inspect, okay? So if you are not uh, worried about the data to spread out to our server, we can help you to do it online. But if you, have, you are very sensitive about the data sharing, of course, no problem. We can help you to do project-based discussion to, to send us, uh, we can do, it's like a private cloud, you can have fully AI Navi in, in your uh, factory to do AI LR at your site. We will have a hands-on training course. And uh, even more, if you can open the network, we can remotely help you to train AI models to optimize the AI model for your usage. Okay, so it's very useful uh, GUI for you. You can see when you train an AI model, you can uh, have uh, something like a GUI to pull our functions on it. And uh, you can see the OK NG directly from, the, from your uh, photo folder, folders. Here, I, here is a live demo in uh, International Trade Show. You can see it's a, a machine to see the PCB. Okay, it's good. It shows the OK or NG or different parts of uh, PCB boards directly, and uh, it's very fast. And uh, we can make whole set for you. We are not only deliver our uh, AI model or like uh, AI computing or like uh, uh, software only. We can do the whole set for our customer with our partners. Just I I show you the first photo. You see the, uh, the 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 healthcare robot with two eyes. If you remember, okay, we have the customer not only deliver our software, our hardware, or only the integration. We can make whole box or even whole equipment for our customer. In Thailand, there is a customer they are doing uh, the plastic items in vehicle. They want to do AI OI, so we help them to uh, to the AI models. But not only the AI models, we help them to do the AI uh, whole set from the video grab, from the grab, from the lighting, from uh, to the you know the automatic production line, like uh, lighting, uh, video camera, and the, the the set of uh, how to inspect a different part of uh, plastic items. We have a whole set for the customer. And uh, they send engineers to, to, uh, to Taiwan to, sh to learn how to, how to optimize their AI model. So that's our service about AI AOI. Okay, let's go to the maybe the last part of our introduction, now be an AI landing case study. This is a checker monitoring AI case study. We connect to the AI cam IP cameras and uh, we control the checker lights directly uh, based on AI computing, uh, AI inference results in this box, MIC 720AI, okay? Over there is a training, training server and the monitor server in the back end, we can deliver the AI metadata back, back to the uh, server. And uh, this Sky server will manage and uh, retrain the AI models, then deliver the new AI models to individual MI system 20 AI directly to optimize the, the AI models 
just fit in the intersection or fit in the lens, the MIC 720 AI is watching. This AI defect inspection is for test tire, and uh, you can see we can help the customer to uh, do the AI robot arm to, uh, to do the video grab. Uh, this scenario is deep, a little bit different compared to our original concept about AI uh, inspection. We are always consider about video grabbing from the camera and directly put it into AI computing. No, in this scenario, we make it like a distribute AI uh, computing uh, diagram. You can see all the images will go to MIT 770 directly. And the uh, MIT 770 will uh, optimize the AI, uh, photos from uh, different robot arm. Why? Because they might, there are my different uh, light condition or different uh, uh, angles. So MS 770 will do uh, pre-image processing to help the image uh, uh, better for AI inference. Then it send the photos for different AI computings. The AI com the MIC 720 AI will do the AI inference and get back the result to the MIC 770. Then MIC 70 will uh, control all the robot arms in different uh, site job site. So this uh, distribute AI system diagram is something like something like all the MIC 720 AI or 710 AI or 730 AI, whatever, all the MIC JSON platforms are external GPU cards, external GPU cards, because it's so difficult to insert a lot of GPU cards in a single system, in a single system. But you can make this happen for a lot of GPU cards outside. So you only have to install one management system in this system and uh, deliver all the photos into different GPU systems. You can get a lot of AI metadata directly from them. So you don't have to manage a lot of uh, sy systems at your job site. Only one management system, a lot of Xavier JSON Nano, a lot of JSON platforms. You can make it scalable you can make it scalable, okay? Okay, here is a uh, interesting uh, real cases in Japan. You know, uh, in Japan, there are so many uh, food factories, they made a lot of, a lot of cookies, uh, very tasty. But for these cookies, for these uh, uh, cakes, they have some something to watch, uh, to, 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 to do the, uh, I mean, the thermal is very important to cook a uh, cookie or cakes. Right now, they are doing uh, adjust the, the, the oven by human, by elder people. But these elder people, they are uh, retired or they are, not, they are not so sensitive to handle so many different product production line. So the customer want to make its AI to replace uh, not really replace. They want to make it AI to help the production line much more efficient. So they help we uh, we help them to make it happen through two systems. One is a training server. The other one is MIT seven twenty AI. Okay. So you can see we when we uh, get a video uh, get an image from the production line, we can know the cookie is. Uh, to raw or overcooked or just uh, or well cooked. So you can recognize if this cookie is good enough to for uh, to, to 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 qualify to for the customer. The, so you can go back if the the cook uh, the cookie is uh is to draw you have to adjust the oven to make the thermal even higher to make it well cooked. So 
uh, this is a very interesting uh, case study because we we focus on uh, PCB, we focus on semiconductor, we focus on vehicle, we focus on people, but we never focus on cookies. But right now we know that AI lending is not only for for something we see uh, usually, but for something we can imagine in manufacturing or in factories. Okay, so if we, you, I don't know in Malaysia what kind of uh, manufacturing is suffered to uh, for elder people retirement or suffer to uh, increase their uh, quality. You can think about if AI can help you or not. Okay, you can think about if AI or if you think about through, through video AI can help you to increase your productivity product quality or increase your uh, working efficiency. Here is another uh, AI AOI or factory uh, case study. Oh, the scenario is very similar to the one I just mentioned about the distributed, uh, distributed AI inference uh, diagram. You can see here is a uh, uh, um, this is a heating factory. Heating is something like here. When you are want to do some uh, something, uh, some system uh, fairness, you have to use heating to dispatch the thermal inside the system. The thermal would be from the hard disk, from the memory, from the CPU, of course. You have to dispatch the, the thermal, so you have to use heating. But heating is uh, something very uh, you, when the design is uh, is is a uh, fin, a lot of fin on it. So the fin is very critical. If you have a crack or some broken, it's a quality quality issue. So the customer want to to make a, a different inspection on it. From a single production line, there are three different AI models inside to inspect the heat sink size. Size inspection. That means you have to measure the size of the heat sink. Too small or too large cannot fix your system. So you cannot uh, to integrate the system to make the system correctly. The thickness inspection because you can see the heat sink has a thickness, but different thickness will impact when you you know you when you uh, want to assemble the system, the thickness is very important. Otherwise, you can make it perfectly. Of course, the defect, like crack, like a broken angle, you have to inspect. Then you have a robot arm to help you to pick up the NG items or OK items from, uh, from the result of the AI models. Okay, that's all about our uh, AI products and uh, our AI solutions. And uh, I share some case study for you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there are so many people online, uh, online right now. There are over 90 attendants uh, in the Zoom. Wow, so welcome. And uh, thank you for joining this uh, webinar. And, uh, you know, Come, come with us uh, for uh, for almost uh, one and a half hours. Right now, he's, here is the last uh, uh, information I want to you check away because I don't know you were you were uh, I don't know how uh, what kind of customer you are. If you are uh, independent uh, software vendors or if you are a system integrators or even you are distributors we have different kind of uh, business model for you we at the Vendec can co collaborate with you with a different business model uh, if you are an isv we will have of course full range uh, JSON system to help you to integrate your software on it to make your air project landing we can we can provide uh, comprehensive customization to do ODM to build your own projects products. We also have a lot of uh, co-marketing program. Okay, 
uh, there 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 are uh, advantage of Malaysia marketing on on land uh, online. So I think you can you can discuss with them. If you are an independent software vendor, we can bring your software solution to the trade trade shows worldwide. To the trade shows worldwide. Uh, Advantech uh, has a lot of uh, internal events or trade shows or exhibitions uh, in the world. So we are angering to have uh, so a great solution from different countries, from different independent software vendors to demonstrate the solution with our hardware. So if, if you have a wonderful uh, software, and uh, you want to make your software uh, spread over the uh, world, you can call marketing with us. We will bring your solution to the activities that's advantage attended. So that's our offering for the software renders. For the customer, you are system integrators. Okay, system integrators is a very uh, important role in uh, to make AI lending because you are so experienced and uh, you have so many connections to the end user. So we will provide, uh, we will provide uh, industrial validation and the certification for your integral systems. Just as you, I mentioned, uh, when you put systems at the roadside, the temperature would be a huge problem for the uh, in the tender, in, in the tenders, they might not let oh, minus 40 degree to even oh, 80 degree. Okay, we can help you to validate or even customize for that. Okay, so we can help you to do the validation, certification, and the uh, customer desire to meet your project requirement. On the other hand, if you have a great integrate system with your software, with uh, our hardware, and uh, very successful AI deployment, especially massive deployment in your country, we can make it a worldwide uh, product, okay? So we can help you to deliver your systems worldwide. So we are global logistics and we have our main services to help you to make to make your business worldwide. Finally, if you have uh, you are a distributor, you want you just want to sell our system, or you want to sell even you know just modules, we will provide for just a standard product portfolio to extend your business. I know there are so many GPUs uh, resellers in, in Malaysia or in Thailand, and Singapore. This kind of uh, resellers or distributors, they they might have a lot of customer. Uh, they are doing AI. Your customer uh, purchase a GPU not only for gaming. I think if they are purchase, uh, you know, Tesla, I believe they are not use Tesla to to you know to do gaming gaming things. They want to make AI. That means. When you train the AI model, they, when they have uh, AI projects to use uh, Tesla, they might have something related to edge systems. They might have some opportunities to deploy edge AI computing at the job site. So our full JSON standard product can help you to extend your business, not only for GPU setting, but also to the AI setting to AI module setting, okay? So we can help you to approach json Bean's opportunity. We have uh, successful partners in Israel, in Korea, and in Japan. Uh, they, are GP, they, or, they are original GPU resellers, but they know that they, they are many customers come from uh, system integrator or research center, or even uh, labs in, in universities, but eventually this kind of customer they want a HAI systems. So we help them to discuss with end customer because uh, you know resellers and uh, and the DCTs members 
Anna Sok get a meal. Anna Sok familiar with uh, Jason platform, but we have we have experience to discuss with customers about Jason projects. So if you are, if you don't mind, you can uh, bridge us to your customers to make the AI project maybe. Even more, we can leverage NVIDIA's uh, PSM, BDM into your projects. That's, that means you might get results from a media headquarters directly. Not only the price support, but also technical support, okay? So you don't have to worry about taking things even you are just a distributor. Of course, there are some distributors that they are very, very informative about JSON platform. But I'm just mention about that if you are not so familiar with uh, Jason, we can help you to do that. Okay, so the same, we can provide a local or logistics and IMS service and the call marketing with you. Oh, to call marketing with you in, in Malaysia, in, in the region you want to approach, okay? Okay, uh, that's, all, that's really all of my presentation. But uh, our our Malaysia colleagues they want me to raise the questions, and uh, I would like to answer the questions uh, from you uh, right now. Okay. And then I will give you the open discussion to discuss about my introduced introduction today. There is a customer. Uh, they are talking about what technologies drivers. Mm, dear, dear, or li libraries uh, supports advantage provide to develop uh, a AI applications for facial recognition. Just as, as I mentioned, we provide the AI SDK. So if you are interested in the AI SDK, come to us. And uh, what language is used to do the develop development? Uh, right now, I know that we support C++ and C Sharp. Python and, uh, I mean, and Python will coming soon, okay? And uh, we selling hardware and uh, package with software API, yes. Uh, we have both side, ASDK and uh, Navy AI for smart city and uh, for smart factory for AIOI respect activity, okay? Yes, you know no more on ASDK, you can come to us, okay? Or, of, of course, if we have another opportunity, I can just introduce ASDK in the webinar, okay? If I, uh, I don't know if uh, Malaysia colleagues is well, are willing to do that or not, I, we can have another uh, webinar to discuss ASDK only. Customer two, they want to, uh, want to ask about at on value uh, over the original Yes. Uh, first of all, of course, we make the uh, carrier ball and the uh, carrier ball needs a uh, BSP. A uh, BSP means that uh, you uh, both support package. Both support okay, package, uh, you can imagine that when you install uh, something on x86 platform, you have to get the driver. BSP is something like that. They are always and uh, drivers inside the package to empower the carrier ball to empower the modules on it. Something like uh, uh, Lampo, Giga E, or DIDO, something like th this kind of interfaces are uh, dr driven by carrier ball. So we have to make the BSP to support the carrier ball. That means we, uh, the BSP is developed by Advantech. It's developed by Advantech. Sometimes when you saw some other competitors platform, you it's better for you to ask if the BSP is supported directly from the vendor. From the vendor, because uh, as I know, there are some customer they leverage uh, third parties uh, BSP, third parties uh, carrier ball, and uh, they just make it, it, it crucial make a choice for that, and uh, sell it into the market. So when you are doing some customization, it would be difficult. But for Advantech, Prada 9, if you want to do some customization, 
for example, like a secu- security boards or you want to um, make an image for your own product, we can discuss about BSB building. No problem. That's our uh, software software advantage. However, the uh, I a lot, I have mentioned this, something like I door I much for your integration for to extend your uh, system capabilities. That would be a huge uh, hardware advantage from Advantech. Okay. They are working on project for the, the AG. Can you in Intel based embedded computing to do inference? Great. And uh, finding more information to see it could be an active problem. Okay. Yes. Uh, of course, there are many customers use uh, Intel based uh, uh, platform to insert uh, GPU cards to do the AI inference. Just as I mentioned, that, that is a way to do AI, to make AI landing at job site, of course, for sure. But there are many app stocks you may encounter, like a thermal issue, like a dimension, like a power consumption. So when you are collect a lot of uh, information from your customers, from the end user, from your projects, you might concern about if what if I did deploy uh, just a platform. You can analyze the cost. You can analyze the maintenance. You can analyze the deployment cost. Okay. So not only the hardware cost, but also the maintenance, also the deployment cost you have to think about for your projects. So I don't mention that you, you, you can use Intel or, or with the GPU card. I want to give you alternatives to make you consider about more opportunities, more uh, choice for your AI projects. Okay. That's all my presentation.